Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Um, today's video, there's, there's going to be quite a lot of things going on. Uh, I want to first explain, um, the obvious, obviously the title says that I'm 3D printing myself a pedal spacer. I think that's what I'm going to call this. But this is the pedal spacer right here, I 3D printed it myself. I didn't get a time lapse of doing it. Um, I don't know if I want to do it in a different colour, because obviously this is orange. Orange filament is all I had at the time. Um, I've also got a bit of black filament, but that black filament is crap, it keeps breaking up. So this is not going to be seen, so I'm thinking about just keeping it orange. It's not really going to be seen down there at all. Um, so yeah, we're going to be fitting this in today's video. Um, I, I want to mention as well that I have also 3D printed myself some little cubby hole um, filler things. Obviously, this one's got blue and orange, this one's orange and blue. I can change them, I can interchange and print whatever colour I want because the little inserts that are in them come out, so now it can just be see through. Um, obviously, exactly the same with the orange one orange to orange, blue to blue is how it's meant to be, but I thought I'd change it up. Um, I've just lost the insert for that, that's gone down the old. Uh, special hole but yeah i've also 3d printed these but obviously these aren't going to stay this color because this these are nothing to do with my colors my color scheme um so what i'm going to do is whichever one's my better one i'm gonna spray black i think they're both exactly the same quality anyway so i'll just choose one and spray it black and then we're going to spray the inserts a different color as well um not necessarily going to do that in today's video but I just wanted to mention it, that I obviously 3D print these things as well. I'm also working on um, a boost gauge surround, which I'm 3D printing. This is just a tester with the black filament I used. Um, I'm going to try and put some vent holes in it, obviously around the, like the, I don't know what you call it, the centre of the centre. If, if you understand, you understand, but I know what I'm talking about. Um, and I'm thinking about maybe, obviously, maybe selling these to some people if anyone wants any. They, they'll be cheap because they... I've literally... I forgot to mention that I do have blue filament now. Um, that came in yesterday. But these literally cost me nothing to make. So I'll sell them dirt cheap if anyone does want any. I'm not trying to mass produce them. I'm just saying that I can 3D print these. They fit nice and snug. So if anyone wants to just have one just because you know they want one and they don't want to pay stupid prices for it message me but i think i'm going to start today's video off by going to get my car washed i'm probably not going to film any of that because you've seen it so many times on my channel but yeah i'm going to start by doing that hopefully we may i obviously i said this video is going to be full of a lot of shit i might be doing my sun strip hopefully if the weather's all right I, it's not really looking too good at the minute but after I've washed my car um, I'm not going to mention a few other things I want to do because they might not end up in the video so I'm going to leave it here and I will just catch you up on the way so uh, let's get to it all right so guys we are sat at the car wash at the minute oh oh there we go we are sat in the car wash at the minute I hate washing my car here I really do I've just spent four quid to wash my car myself and the wheels still look filthy as. There's bits all over the paintwork that didn't even get touched. So I think I'm still gonna have to get my own jet wash out in the freezing cold and finish the car off. So I'm gonna drive back home now. Uh, we are gonna fit this and then I'm gonna s decide what else I wanna do because if I've got a finish up washing my car. I don't know if I'm going to have time to piss about with my sun strip and a few other bits and bobs that I wanted to do. So anyway, I'll leave it at that and I will get back to you once we are ready to fit this. Let's do it. Alright, so guys, I'll get my light here quickly. Basically, all this pedal spacer is, as you can see, that bolt down the bottom, I can't really point while holding the camera and my light but that bolt at the bottom there, right in the middle of the screen, and that bolt up the top there, almost in the middle of the screen. Um, I think are the only two bolts that have got to come out. Uh, they look like 
probably a 13, maybe a 14, probably a 13, that's how it is on most cars. Just got to take them two bolts out and then I'll get back to you after that. Alright, so guys, I've now got my, my socket ready. I just wanted to quickly show you before I took it off um, that what this pedal spacer does is basically bring this pedal in line with this pedal and this pedal because obviously you can see that these two pedals sit forward this way a bit more than this one does so what that does is it brings it forward and then gives you a little bit of a better throttle response is what I've heard and it obviously brings this closer to your foot so what harm can it do? I printed it for free if it doesn't really work for me I can take it off again it didn't cost me nothing so anyway let's get them bolts off and put it on right so after them two bolts are off the pedal is now just dangling there and what you need to do is upside down there we go goes on like that I can't do this with two hands I can't hold the camera at the same time I don't know if that works but yeah as you can see the space is on there and then the pedal will just go back on the exact same position hopefully and we'll put the bolts in and that is that's it for a pedal spacer so that's as easy as that gets pedal spacer is on the pedals are now reasonably in line with each other this with well, this end one obviously looks a bit odd because it's a bigger pedal but they seem to be a little bit better in line obviously by 10 mil so yeah that's that done um I don't know if I'm gonna do the sun strip. Oh, camera's a bit a bit bright. Yeah, because obviously you guys can't see it. It's more the other side. Let's walk around the other side quickly. So yeah, this is obviously my problem. The gold pinstripes come off and it's ripped the sun strip up with it. So I want to pull this off and redo the whole thing. Gonna need to get me a new sticker for both sides. Guys, if you're not already, join us on Facebook, Era 404 Car Group. This is being filmed a hell of a lot later than the actual timing, uh, the actual time of when I filmed this video. Them two little clips, maybe three little clips that you just saw, was filmed right now. I mean, it's probably been almost a week and a half since I filmed everything that I've just done. But I'm now leaving work. I'm trying to duck down underneath my steering wheel because my camera's under there. Um, everything's obviously all done. I'm not too happy with the sun strip. It looks okay. It'll go well with the theme sort of thing that I'm going with. Little bit of a hint for you guys. Um, the pedal spacer went really well after the the day after I'd fitted it because I um I actually fitted the pedal spacer and then left my car for a little while and then drove it the next day. I completely forgot about it and I was sat there and I was feeling like, why the hell does my car feel a little bit more responsive? What's going on? And then I remembered that I'd fit that pedal spacer. So yeah, I, I definitely felt the difference. Um, yeah, I think I think that's all I filmed, the pedal spacer and the sun strip. I haven't done anything else to my car, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave this video here. Um, 
guys make sure you smash that subscribe button it's, it's helping out a lot we're almost at a thousand subscribers um which is a huge milestone for me especially since this since i've started this this whole youtube thing with this car as well um this car's come a long way since when i first got it i think i've changed it a hell of a lot it hasn't come a long way but i've changed it a few different styles all over the place um so yeah I'm gonna leave this here. Make sure you smash that like. Uh, make sure you smash the like and subscribe button, and I shall hopefully see you in my next video. Peace out, guys.